Good morning, Hoopers. Today we're looking at another Stanley Adventure Series pot. This is the Percolator with the removable silicone handle. So right now we're looking right over at the pot. Ghost helping me check it out, make sure everything looks good. She seems to approve, gave it two paws up. Uh, seems like fairly solid. There's a basket, you put your grounds in. Ghost said we really need to hurry up, she really wants some coffee. It's the basket, you put your grounds in. Uh, there's real no way to know how far to fill it. It's just one of those things you gotta kinda of figure out by trial and error. Uh, I guess it all just depends on how strong or weak you like your coffee. Now there's the base plate, water boils underneath that, comes up the straw, squirts out the top, and then the hot water drips down over your grounds through this basket, and you have coffee. I filled mine up uh, just below the first set of holes in the basket. Like I said, it's trial and error. I, I really have no idea. I've seen some people say you just put a few spoonfuls. I've seen other people say you fill it halfway up. So I kind of split the difference there just to see how it goes. I like my coffee a little bit stronger. But I don't want oatmeal either. So we filled her up to the maximum mark. It's got two marks on the inside and max and minimum. Pretty nice. Ghost is really getting sick of me. Uh, taking forever making videos and not making us coffee. So we'll get to her. I like the lid. It's got this latch on it that uh, makes it so the lid can't fall off and get lost or whatever. It's always attached to it. But it's double hinged so it's pretty movable. Uh, there's the clear cap on the lid that serves two purposes. One, it's to keep you from burning your fingers, and two, so you can see how your coffee's going. And, uh, we're going to use the isobutane here. Go ahead and get it cranked up. And spark of dark, there we go. Now we're cooking the steam. He's reminding me that I need to hurry up because she really likes some coffee as well. So at this point, you just kind of sit there and let it go until it's starting to get a nice roll of oil going. She really likes me to hurry up. It's kind of like Coleman, right? It's it's not so much the, the high-end quality of it, because it's not. It's pretty affordable stuff, and, but it's the nostalgia of the brand, you know. This wouldn't look out of place in 1950s, you know, campground somewhere, some old feller making a pot of coffee before he goes and shoots a couple of uh, I just like the nostalgia. No, no, no. no. It's hot. Sweet Pea the Beagle has zero patience for the artistic process of making YouTube videos. Alright, I'm going to use uh, my nesting cups out of my Stanley nesting pot. Because why not? I have them. Let's use them. I like these little cups. They're, uh, they're plastic cups, but the inside has a, like a ceramic sleeve to help keep your coffee warm. But you don't burn the crap out of your mouth and your hands when you're trying to drink. At about this point, I started noticing I'm having problems with this stove. The isobutane keeps cutting, like, in and out. I don't quite understand what I did. I feel like I turned the heat up, turn it down, and it just it flares up, and then it kind of cuts out, and the pot's just not getting warm anymore. If you guys know what I am can see what I did wrong or ran into this, uh, put a comment down below, so hopefully you save me some grief next time I try to do this. Luckily, this little stove I got from Walmart came with a propane adapter for it. So, got the propane fired up, had to create any kind of hill, and uh, get it 
Water starts squirting all that straw into the into the little people slash hot cap of this lid. The water flames in the lid. I like this little stove again to pick up at Walmart. It's just like 15 bucks. Uh, yeah, I see it's made for the ice and beef. So once you start getting like tea colored, uh, everything I've seen in red said, you should let it go for about five to ten minutes, uh, depending on how strong you like your coffee. I like mine a little bit stronger, so we did about the ten minute rolling boil. I did end up with a little bit of grounds outside of the basket. I, I really think I just had too strong of a boil going here towards the end. If I had a better stove that I could control the heat a little bit better I think would make it easier but all in all it wasn't terrible and I also heard you can put a coffee filter in the basket just cut a hole and put it around the straw uh, I'll try that next time to see how it goes but this is my first try it didn't turn out too bad it's definitely drinkable um it's actually downright good Yeah, clear little handles, just how you monitor how she's going. I just think that's still just a little too violent of a boil. Maybe cut the heat down a little bit more next time. Ooh, that's some handsome mountain man right there. Alright, she's just about done. Make sure we got all the dust and crap knocked out of our cups. Looking like skin pretty dark. I say that's darker than tea by this point. About coffee color, one might say. I 
as you can see in the top of the basket there there is some grounds on the top it must have boiled out of the out of the little basket there but we'll, we'll get her figured out we'll trial and error and we'll give it a pour Ooh, there's some handsomeness in stereo in the bottom of them cups by god oh yeah that's a good color of coffee right there fill her up I'm going to bring a cup to the wife so she can tell me I'm a good boy and did a good job. Have you guys seen I did anything wrong or have any advice, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Uh, let me know. I always take constructive criticism. If you want to see me review more of this kind of stuff, make sure you like and subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell. You Here's our final you. product. Look at that. Very good. Well, happy you. camping, y'all. Get outside. And thank you for all.